What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't liked, share, subscribe, go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click the notification bell. All right, y'all. We're going to try this again. I'm not going to let this get me down. If this don't work, we're going to go and get a brand new shaft. That's it. I'd have it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is your host, D Wade. Of course, you already know that. What now, we're doing today is uh, what I done today. Well, we're gonna run this bush out one more time. All right, what I did today, uh, I didn't kind of vlog anything. I should have, but you know, I uh, went to a, uh, another shop down the road and asked the bar grinder. And so, what I did was, I got it back home. I got the shaft. Oh, I'm in cinematic yeah. mode. What I did was I got got the shaft back in. So what it is, let me get down here so y'all so y'all can see. All right, what it, what it is? Okay, when I bought this bush hog back in uh, what was it January when uh, Dyersburg, Tennessee Tennessee tractor had that sale over there. They had an auction and whatever. They had an auction going on this year. This pat this year and it was back in January. And uh when I had bought it, only thing that was messed up on it, it was it was the middle shaft. The middle shaft wasn't in there, so I went and got one. So now I'm not familiar with this. So what what I did with this is I took the shaft out. I mean when the shaft came out. I put it in the back of the truck and I noticed I took the shaft and then I measured it from the neck right here all the way down here. So just picture I took it out, take it out and then come right here and start measuring from here to down there. So what I noticed was the shaft is too short. So, uh, so which means in the male part right here, I, I'm only having probably about this much sticking in. But see, yes, I did push the draw bar in. So the draw bar is in. So that really don't make no make no difference. So I'm probably got, yeah, I'm about right here, the end of the shaft right here. Even though the the opening is right here. So I probably got that much from right here. So knowing I need down here. So technically that shaft's been cut before. So so now I went to the shop and then I cut just about a piece of it. Just a piece of it, not even an inch, not even that. About like your fingernail, not the whole fingernail, but your ingrown fingernail. Well, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I cut a little bit off of that. So what it was, these gears right here, these gears right here, these splines, they were stripped on the very end of the shaft when the shaft came out, when I was crossing over a base road. So, what I did was, it was kind of angled a little bit like that, and then the rest of it was going straight. So what I did was I cut where it was angled off it, and then I just cut it off. And then, so it happened, the shaft went back on there. So I'm going to try this again. And like I said, if this doesn't work, then we're going to go and get a brand new shaft. Hopefully, that's not the case. So let's stop talking. Let's just go ahead and finish clipping that over there so I can do something else. Meanwhile, all right, y'all. So far, it's doing good. It's doing good. So, cross your hand. If the shaft mess up again, then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and buy one. I'm gonna go ahead and get one and be done with it. But ah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. So far, right now, it's doing good. Good. If I 
I can get down with all it is down here, all it is, just down here, down low, right down, I'll be all right. That's all I need to do is put this CRP. So let's get at it. Pat on back. I got that shed fixed, so it stays. So I don't have to go and I don't have to go and get another one. So right now, let me do some research and let me see where all the fittings at on here. I know a person on here showed me where uh, online that was on YouTube that sent me a link down in the description and it showed me where all the tubings i mean all the fittings at the alamites and everything i want to grease them especially that arm up there i most definitely want to get that so let's just get going other than that i don't see nothing else that's wrong other than that throat i really like to look at that but i need two hands for that so i might well wait until my uncle get off work and and i just want to look at it and just just make sure. Now, only thing I want to do is this arm up here, this auger. I want to grease that. I want to make, basically, I want to make sure I got all the fittings greased. So, I want to take care of my comeback. I ain't looking to trade nothing on this. This combine, I'm going to predict this. This combine right here is going to be with me. Hmm. I let it stay with me probably about 10 more years. 10 more years, probably 15. I'm gonna say when I'm 50, I see where I'm at with this combine and don't nothing else happen to it. But I'm planning on paying this off and keeping this and that's it. No more combine upgrading cause it's not even, that's not even called for. Uh, that's it, let me, let me get to work. Dang. Well, bad news, y'all. Truck ain't gonna be ready until this Friday. He got three trucks backed up. Well. So that'll be two weeks. I'm down. No, take that back. This will be the third week I'm down.
All right, question, y'all. For all you uh, 9770 STS Combine John Deere users, I got a question about this spot right here. I got it on the small spocket. And at first, it was on the big spocket. Which one of these am I supposed to be on? Comment down there below on the feeder house. What spocket am I supposed to be on? Because it looked like if I, I just swapped it to the small spocket. So which means this right here looks like in the video, as you see, it's turning slow, a lot slower. Yeah. I'm just going to wait until one of y'all tell me something. I don't know. But I'm just going to go ahead and shut it down right now. Just for right now. And redo it tomorrow. So right now, I guess I'm done greasing. I guess. So I saw from what I greased last time in the last video versus today. I think that's all of it. I'm not for sure. But... Uh, y'all be sure to let me know what's going on. Yeah, y'all be sure to let me know uh, about that sprocket if y'all know anything about it. Uh, trying to get it to swap over, so I think I'm. I think I swapped it over already. I I don't know. I got to look at the service manual, and I don't know. This is my first year with it first year with this type of combine, you know, because last year I had a, uh, a 2388 KSIH combine, so y'all tell me what, what that is, so I don't know, now for right here, this right here, now it looks like it's already squat from both sides, already on, a, on either side, it's all, the feed house is already squat. But it's just that pulley is just what I had a question about. So I don't know. Ugh. Well, yeah. I did enough for the day. So, uh, say so yeah, you see the grain out there. So it's getting ready to come out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start Monday, y'all. So it's going to be an everyday vlog. So as of right now, y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. If you have any questions or concerns, put it down in the description down below because I'm going to comment you back, answer you back as fast as possible because I enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, be ready for the next vlog tomorrow. Till next time, holla.